It is time for a military grade mosquito killer. Mosquitoes, they're pesky, annoying, and seemingly everywhere. There are products for sale that promise to keep them at bay. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno is joining us now with one device that was made for the military and it's about to be available for everyone. I know I've got the hot ticket item around the station. Everyone keeps trying to steal it because it's not actually out on the market yet. So this is mine everyone. So this is the device. It's called the Insecto and it hits store shelves within the next year. Now I know what you're thinking. It doesn't look like there's much to it. That's the point. It was created for the military requested as something even a Marine could break, well, couldn't break. Before it's available to everyone, I got a chance to try it out. And I want to point out, I quite literally sacrificed my own skin for this story. I will try just about anything for a story, but this one was, well, not one of my favorites. There quite the go. smell, <laughs> quite the smell. Anytime you have large numbers of animals, you're gonna have odors. This is Dr. Philip Kohler with UF's world-ranked entomology lab. These are probably three to five days old. Dr. Kohler has worked with mosquitoes for more than 50 years and has dozens of patents to his name. His resume impressive enough, the U.S. military contacted him and his team to create a device to keep mosquitoes away while troops are overseas. And we wanted something that, that even a Marine could use and not break uh, when they're out deployed in some of these uh, rural, rural situations. Unlike most devices on the market, the Insecto does not give off any chemicals. Instead, it uses new technology to attract and trap the mosquitoes simply by filling it with water. So how does it work? So the idea would be to put this in a shady area uh, usually under a shrub or, or a place where mosquitoes are resting. Then wait for the mosquitoes to land in the device. The mosquitoes then are attracted to the color, which is red and black are their preferred colors. And once they enter, they are met with this tea bag pouch, holding a chemical lethal to only bugs. While the devices are not available in stores yet, Dr. Kohler gave me one to try. So the hardest part was supposed to be to take off this plastic wrap. Let's just say it was very easy. The next thing they want you to do is to mark when you added water, just so you can know when to dispose of it. So we are in August. Then you fill it up. I let the device sit outside for two weeks. So we have picked the best, or I would argue the worst time of day to come outside and test out one of these devices. It just rained. It's Florida, it's hot, I can hear the mosquitoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up in this chair, I've got my device right next to me and we're gonna see if the bugs bite. Yeah, I'm sacrificing my own limbs for you. So let's see. Oh, I see a mosquito. I can't tell whether I'm getting bit or it's all in my mind. <laughs> After an hour of sitting out. Oh, yep, one just bit for sure. Let's dump the water out and see if any mosquitoes met their demise. Ooh, that water is so gross. Oh yeah, those are, that's, mos oh my gosh. That's mosquito larvae in there. You can see them swimming around. That's definitely mosquito larvae. And the good news for us about the mosquitoes that fly in there. Then they die as a result of contact or they lay their eggs and their larvae die as a result of living in water that is uh, that's treated. Each of these swimming future mosquitoes won't make it as far as this bowl. There isn't another product like this on the market. And the best part, no chemicals spring into your backyard. So one of the coolest parts about this device is really you just set it and leave it. There's nothing to plug in, turn on, or worry that you're going to waste the battery. So while, yes, I did have a few bites while testing this thing, considering I was outside during the peak time of day for mosquitoes, we all know that time of day, I was definitely less bitten than when, say, I was without the device. So guys, I, I mean, I overall, I'm, I'm giving it a thumbs up. And, and this is something that really, I've tried a lot of devices. This was just so easy. I'm all about easy. You yeah. guys have kids, you don't have time for anything, and then you forget to turn things off. Exactly, but listen, so when this is available to everyone, when is this, this is going to be available within the next year? So, mm -hmm. what, what about the cost? How much is it gonna cost us? That's the best part. Probably around 20 bucks. We don't know the exact cost. So right now they're kind of at those like feeder stores. You can buy them and I've seen them for around 20 bucks. They last for three months. That's why you write the date on there. Dispose of it, just get a new one. So around 20 bucks, really not that much. And I know what you're thinking. I want one of these now. 
No, this is mine, but I am testing out other devices. So tomorrow on the morning show, it's our ask seen on social media test from different ads that popped up in your social media feeds promising to keep, keep mosquitoes away. I brought these devices to Dr. Kohler's lab and his mosquitoes and tested them. And there was one device that Dr. Kohler said worked so well, he wouldn't let me try it out on his mosquitoes because he knew they would die. And this man is very good at his job. So watch our As Seen on social media tests and results tomorrow at 8 a.m. on The Morning Show. Lauren, thank you.